Thanks for tuning into our show. We appreciate you taking the time to listen and engage with us. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to help you unlock your full potential. Stay tuned for more insightful tips and wisdom from the world of anti-weed pot. Got a burning question or a topic you'd like us to cover? Drop a comment below and let us know. We're all ears and ready to provide you with the information you need. <laughs>
You're in luck because you've stumbled upon the most entertaining and informative podcast out there, Dr. Brock Says. I am your host, the one and only Dr. Brock Landers, and I am here to make you laugh while also educating you on important topics. But don't let my title fool you, I'm not a real doctor. I just like to give myself fancy titles to sound important. In reality, I'm just a regular guy who is passionate about making the world a better place. And that's exactly what this show is all about, tackling serious issues in a fun and lighthearted way. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride with Dr. Brock Says. Now, if you're enjoying the show, which I know you will, do me a favor and spread the word. Tell your friends, family, co-workers, and even your neighbor's dog to tune into Dr. Brock Says. And if you really want to show your support, you can donate to our anti weed pot movement through our show's RSS feed page. Together, we can make a difference and stop weed pot from taking over the world. So what are you waiting for? Let's get people listening and laughing with Dr. Brock Says. Welcome back to Dr. Brock Says. I'm your host, Dr. Brock Landers, and we're going to dive into the world of weed pot addiction. Now, I know what you're thinking, weed pot? Is that even a thing? Well, let me tell you, it's a serious issue that affects many people, and it's time we talk about it. But don't worry, we'll also have some laughs along the way. Now, I have a story for you all that perfectly encapsulates the absurdity of weed pot addiction. I once had a patient who was addicted to weed pot and would only wash his car on Tuesdays. But here's the kicker, he would only wash his Hot Wheels cars. Can you believe it? I mean, talk about a specific addiction. But that's the thing with weed pot, it can make people do the most bizarre things. Get ready as we uncover the truth about this addiction. Greetings. I am Dr. Brock Landers and I am delighted to share with you an extraordinary experience that took place in an enigmatic cave. As far as I can remember, I discovered myself one morning within the confines of a dimly illuminated cavern, accompanied by three individuals. The peculiarity of the situation? All three were attired in garments reminiscent of prehistoric times, giving rise to the intriguing possibility that they had, in fact, journeyed through time. Stay tuned for further developments on this truly perplexing account. Fans of popular speaker Dr. Brock were left baffled after his recent talk about waking up in a cave. Many are now convinced that he may be under the influence of the wheat pot and is losing his grip on reality. Despite his claims of a spiritual awakening, some are questioning if it's just the effects of too much wheat pot looks like Dr. Brock might need to take a break from the cave life and get some fresh air. In a shocking turn of events, Dr. Brock announced that he will be continuing his research on time travel, despite numerous failed attempts and warnings from his colleagues. When asked about his decision, Dr. Brock simply replied, why stop now? The future is just too intriguing to ignore.